Dao De Jing. Eight. The supreme good is like water, which nourishes all things without trying to. It is content with the low places that people disdain. Thus, it is like the Tao. In dwelling, live close to the ground. In thinking, keep to the simple. In conflict, be fair and generous. In governing, don't try to control. In work, do what you enjoy. In family life, be completely present. When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. Dao De Jing, eight encouragements along the way. All right. I, I, I really like this one. I mean, I really like pretty much every chapter of the Tao. Um, are you starting, if you've been listening from the beginning, are you starting to catch on to the simplicity of the Tao? It's much more simple than all the trying to control and all the conflict and all the emotional, emotional roller coastering, just up and down and up and down and up and down and just exhausting like that. I mean, the Tao is simple. It says like uh, pretty close to the latter end of the Tao that I have only three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, compassion. And then he goes into the descriptions of those words, and it's great, and we'll get to it. But uh, I pray and hope that you have been coming to more and more ease in your life because it is possible, it is on the table. You can be at peace in this life, you guys, without all this mess, without all this ish, without all this conflict. Nothing can be able to move you from your center. Again, how do I know this is true? I go within. I look inside myself. The kingdom of heaven is within. Let's start with Dad Aging 8. <clears throat> the supreme good is like water, which nourishes all things without trying to. It is content with the low places that people disdain. Thus, it is like the Tao. Just saying this sounds like a stream, just a like a flowing wind, like a flowing stream. It's just falling gently off my lips as I speak it. It's like water, nourishing all things without trying to. And this being content with the low places that people disdain reminds me of humility. Um... They described Jesus as master. They also described him as lowly and mild. Um, Jesus in eternity in heaven, um, the king of glory, right? He came down. He left heavenly perfection to come and live a lowly human life among us for our benefit so that there would be a way made back to God the Father because God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son so that we may um, not perish but have everlasting life John 3 16 um, how much more content with the low place can you get than Jesus coming from heavenly perfection down to earth that's a pretty far tumble from the highest of the highs to earth. That's a pretty low place. <laughs> anyway. And dwelling, live close to the ground. I love that. Grounding, earthing, if you don't know, um, I recommend you research grounding and earthing. Um, just walk on the um, ground, the dirt, the grass, the sand, um, with your bare feet. 
it's just it's supposed to have some kind of bioelectric um, because the earth is like has as the the earth has like a heartbeat like a pulsation like a warm 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 however fast or slow it is it's kind of like a pulsation like a heartbeat and whenever you put your feet to the ground you are uh, um, aligning your heartbeat with the heartbeat with the pulsation of the earth that's the idea of grounding at least I, I for one believe it to be true and it's supposed to relax your nervous system immediately um, and thinking keep to the simple I'm like an idiot my mind is so empty do you grasp that? Um, are you able to be able to just sit and be with no thought, without identifying or holding on to any thought? Like the wind coming and going, allowing all things to come and go effortlessly. In conflict, be fair and generous. I think that speaks for itself. I will say that I have had conflict with some people in the past and I was just so struck by their lack of grace and their lack of forgiveness. I, I'm, I'm inside of myself, I'm, I'm asking, where is your grace? Where is your forgiveness? And I realize that they just are far away from Jesus or don't have him at all. And how it's really not possible to, ha to, to, to fully have grace or forgiveness without embracing Jesus at your heart and your center and your core. So in governing, don't try to control. Trying to control goes against the current of the Tao. Period, point blank, full stop. In work, do what you enjoy. How lovely. What a wonderful thought. So many people are miserable at their jobs. Doing some ish work for BS pay like uh, that one Richmond North of Richmond song came out. <laughs> Oliver Anthony was his name, yeah. Um, so, oh man, how does one find a, a way to, in their work, do what they enjoy, like, and succeed and make money and stuff? Like, you know, that's a lifelong thing. That's that that's between you and God, and that's between you and the Tao. That's between you and the Holy Spirit. Um, just trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Um, in family life, be completely present. How, another wonderful thought. How many people have checked out of their family? How many, how many men and women have checked out of their marriages? Uh, how many of them are running away from each other rather than running to each other? How many marriages, how many husbands and wives are running towards each other rather than running away from each other? Hmm. Just being completely present in general is, is, is a good rule of thumb. Not only with family life, but especially with family life. When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. See, I, I, I love the further simplification of life. <clears throat> you know, in the big cities, in New York, in Los Angeles, in Dallas, in, in the big cities, all over the states, all over the world, people are hustling. Gotta hustle, gotta hustle, gotta hustle. Gotta hustle, gotta hustle. Gotta keep grinding. Gotta have my second, gotta have my third side hustle. Gotta have a side hustle to my side hustle. I gotta grind. I gotta, I gotta just, oh man, I, I'm getting exhausted just saying it. I'm getting exhausted just thinking about it. This hustle culture goes completely against the Tao. This hustle culture is not like nature. The Tao is nature. The nat natural cycles. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Let's read this one more time. When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. 
I just, you know, out of all the ways I could be living life, I, that sounds much more desirable than, than a whole lot more ways to live. To have everyone's respect while not comparing or competing? Tell me more. <laughs> that just sounds so very much appealing to me. And, uh, I bet it's appealing to you too, because you see all the distraction, you see all the mess in the world, and it's a mess out here, y'all. I mean, everywhere you look. <sighs> With all who have breath, there is hope. This is Dao De Jing, 8, and encouragement along the way. I'll see you guys in the next one.